हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन रियाग नेटिव कोर्स सो गाइज इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू इम्प्लीमेंट गूगल मैप्स इन आवर रियाग नेटिव एप्लीकेशन सो आई विल गाइड यू स्टेप बाई स्टेप हाउ यू कैन इम्प्लीमेंट गूगल मैप्स इन रियाग नेटिव ऐप सो गाइज आवर फर्स्ट स्टेप विल बी टू गेट द गूगल मैप्स ए पी आई की so to get the google maps api key you just need to go to the google cloud so search google cloud in your chrome and go to this first link here guys you need to go inside the console okay guys so guys here yeah, right now what you need to do you need to uh, like uh, create a project so you can click on this first of all and uh, you can then click on a uh, this new project and when you click on this new project you will provide the project name maps okay or uh, geo survey geo survey okay and then you need to press on this create okay then guys if you like uh, come to this you can see that your geo survey is created now you need to come inside your geo survey and then you go to apis and services and credentials okay friends so after that what you need to do you will click on this create credentials and you will click on this api key now it will generate you the api key so this is guys your api key so we will uh, copy this api key and save it uh, somewhere okay and uh, then guys we will go inside libraries and in the libraries we enable few things okay so let me tell you what things that you want to enable so go you need to enable maps sdk for android map sdk for ios right now you only need to uh, enable these two services these two libraries so you can first of all search over here go to the specific library and then you need to click on this enable button so when you enable any library which requires uh billing so you will come to this uh ui okay so in this guys you need to like uh, create a billing account okay because maps sdk is not free you need to like uh, provide your uh, billing account okay so you can name your billing account whatever you want to name it then press this continue button okay and then guys you need to like uh, give the payment method okay so you can also change your payment method by clicking on this plus icon add credit or debit card okay and then uh, this is your payment profile okay you can also change or create your payment profile over here also so make sure that you have these two things okay and then just click on this submit and enable billing so when you do that guys uh, your uh, billing will be attached to your uh, project okay the geo survey projects that we created and uh, then you can use your api key google maps api key so these are the only steps that you need to do guys and uh, we will come inside this uh, apis and services one more time we will go to the credential and here you can if you click on this show key you can uh, get your key okay and when you click on this guys api key you can go more further so there are some restrictions if you want to do you can do it like uh, if you want this api key to run on the specific website so you will 
click on this website and add the links of your website so your api key only works for that particular website only or if you want to control your api key with ip address or if you want to like your api key only works for android apps not ios then you need uh, you can also select these between okay this is the re restriction or you can say security of uh, api key okay you can restrict according to these options and guys uh, below you will find api restrictions one more time so if you click on the restriction key guys you can select like what library do you want to run on uh, what library you don't want to run uh, for your api key if i select that like big query api so i cannot run this big query api using my api key so these are the some restriction and security that you can do and uh, against your api key and if you want to delete your api key just press on this delete button and your api key will be deleted okay so this is very easy and uh, when you get used to this google console you will uh, like get a hold of it okay so these are the few steps guys that you need to do to get the api key okay so guys now you can get your api key so what you need to do you go to your project go to this env file and add your api key inside this env file so i'll do that and get back to you okay okay friends so i inserted my google maps api key and uh, then i will go inside my survey screen where i want to implement my google map and in the environment file i give my api key name google maps api key so if you are new to this video you can check my previous video in which i teach like how you can store data in env file for security purpose and how you can get the data from env file so please watch my previous video if you are new okay friends now what we need to do we will uh, search react native google maps okay then we will go to this first uh, link which is react native maps okay now guys what you need to do first you need to install this so you click on this installation instructions and then we will first of all install this package so i will copy this re yarn add react native maps okay okay friends so this is my terminal and right now i'm inside my project i will run this command yarn add react native maps and uh, then we will go to the documentation one more time so i think uh, yeah so for uh, ios guys you need to do cd into your ios folder and do the pod install so let's do that so cd ios and then pod install okay but before that i will update some uh, files so i will go inside my app delegate.mm so where you can find it just go into the project ios folder then you can find this app delegate dot so in new uh, ios uh, apps react native apps there is no app delegate dot mm there is instead of that there is app delegate dot swift okay guys in app delegate uh, dot swift file first you need to copy this import google maps okay so after firebase i will do this and then i will add this line okay inside my this did finish function so this is my did finish function and after this firebase i will add this okay and guys here you need to copy paste your google maps api key okay friends so i copy my api key inside my app delegate dot file 
and let's go and let's now do the pod install okay so cd into your ios folder pod install okay guys so when you do the pod install you can see that react native maps and react native maps is adding into your project okay so these are the step for ios friends and uh, now what you need to do it say add the following to your pod file above the this uh, native module okay guys so we need to do this step also so what we will do we will go inside our pod file so in ios folder you will uh, have this pod file and find this uh, this use native module and it's saying you need to uh, add the following to pod file above the so we will add this above the above this okay i will add this over here okay now i will save it and it is saying that run pod install in ios folder so we will run pod install in ios folder again okay so this is google maps ios utils that are going to add in your project okay friends so this is also done now we will come inside our android and we will go inside our uh, manifest file so i will copy this uh, metadata so after copying this we will go inside our android folder and we will go inside our app and then uh, source then main and then this is uh, our android manifest file and guys here we need to add uh, this meta inside our application like this okay and guys what uh, we need to do then uh, after adding this we need to copy paste our google maps api key over here also okay friends so i provided my api key inside android manifest and now what we need to do is to just run our project let's run our project in android first and then i will show you in ios also so yarn android to run the app inside android okay friends uh, since this our project is running we will uh, focus on more points like first of all what you need to do is to import map view and uh, provider google in the screen where you want to like show the google maps okay so i will import it inside my this survey screen and then guys this is the style that you need okay so copy this style and paste it uh, at the very bottom and make sure that you imported the style sheet okay so i will import a style sheet okay so as you can see style sheet is imported by react native and then guys uh, where you want to implement that map just copy the this map view okay copy it and go to the that view so in this view we are going to implement our google maps okay so guys provider is google okay so it's saying that if you don't want to use google map you can change the provider but we want to use google map so and a style is style dot map so here is our style dot map and in this we don't need the container so remove the container in the style and uh, region so guys region means like when your app when your map is loaded what region that you want to focus on and uh, what should be the latitude delta what will be the height okay and uh, what is the location latitude and longitude so our android app is ready it takes six minute 
all at least seven minutes to build this application so we will open our app okay and i will go inside my survey and now i will save my changes okay so guys here you can see now google maps okay so this is the google maps and there are some property that you can provide first of all is zoom control zoom enable okay so when you zoom control enable okay so this zoom control enable is like there is a plus minus sign okay guys so we will remove this background color red okay we don't need this anymore and uh, we you can also change the latitude and longitude if you want to focus to some other another country or some another location uh, you can also change it we will change it in our upcoming video so so right now uh, let's run this application in ios and check that if our google maps is working on ios uh, or not okay guys so our app is up and running okay so first of all i will log in into my um, app the problem is this simulator is running very slow okay guys so uh, this is our ios app guys we have to adjust our ios app also over here because we didn't because most of my videos are on android side so that's why there is a big difference in the um, ui so we will uh, in our upcoming video we will work on the ios simulator make our ui according to ios also okay so right now i will uh, show you the google maps so here i will create a survey first of all i will name it uh, um let's say karachi okay and create survey so now our survey is created so guys there is a one more thing that we need to do over here is that when we create our survey we need to load our uh, surveys okay okay so but we do this in upcoming video right now i will reload my application to load the surveys okay so now you can see survey is loaded okay now i will go to this specific survey now here you can see this is our google maps okay so we successfully implemented google maps in our ios app also so friends uh, this is it for today's video i hope you like it if you like it hit the like button don't forget to subscribe the channel and i will see you guys in the next one till then take care and have a good day